Hi guys, it's Kai here, and I am trying the 10k build challenge. Um, MCG, or the MCG family, you know, whatever you want to call her, I'll leave her link down in the description. She's the one that tagged me in it. She did this a little while ago, tagged a couple people, and I also saw it going around kind of the, the Sims community, I guess you can say. And the challenge is that you have to build a house for 10,000 or less. And that doesn't include the lot value, so this lot in particular is 1500 but that's why I have that little lot value panel open literally like the entire time. Because And sometimes I stop and I'm sitting there doing math trying to figure out how much money I had left because holy crap, this was hard. But yeah, anyway, so you have $10,000 to try and build a house. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have to be any sort of like particular house. It doesn't have to have so many rooms. It doesn't have to be like ginormous or anything. But... I thought it would be kind of easy, but it really wasn't because I don't know if you guys have ever tried to do like the starter home challenge, but I have, you know, a couple of times. I think I've only posted one video though, and that wasn't too, too bad, but this, oh my God, this was hard. So I spent a lot of time on like the internet, you know, YouTube, looking at other people's videos and I was like, oh, this doesn't look, you know, too, too hard, but I noticed a lot of people were doing more traditional kind of style houses so i wanted to try and do a modern house and i don't really do a lot of my builds in oasis springs so i just happened to put it in here because in my save file that i had this in one oasis springs was like kind of where i wanted to go and two this lot was the cheapest so math was easier <laughs> i guess so yeah other than that, like I said, I just really wanted to try and do a modern house because it was really different from everyone else's that I was seeing and I thought it would be fairly simple, but it turned out it wasn't and ugh, this took me so long. Like I thought, okay, you know, it's a starter house type, well, cheaper than a starter house. Maybe it's only going to take me a couple, not a couple minutes, but not very long because most of my builds take me, I'd say around two hours to do like the big completely furnished kind of builds or sometimes if, even if I'm just doing the exterior it'll take me about like an hour, hour and a half depending on how big it is and the landscaping and stuff. But this build ended up taking me a little over an hour. I think when I pulled the file in it was an hour and 15 minutes because there was so much back and forth that I had to do. Like I would put something in and I'd be like, oh yeah, this looks good. And then I'd start you know, furnishing it and I'd be like, okay, this is really expensive. So I'd have to start slowly like shrinking things or finding new creative ways to do something. And then constantly going through and checking the prices on something. I'm like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous! I had to find like the cheapest carpet, the cheapest flooring, the cheapest wallpaper. I ended up changing it like halfway through. I ended up changing the windows. I, I ended up changing literally everything at least a million times. And you'll see it later. I almost, almost forgot to put a bathroom in. Like, how did I manage to do that? How did I manage to almost forget to put a bathroom in? It makes zero sense to me. But yeah, the like I said, the idea for this was basically I just wanted to do... A small modern house I really wanted to do two levels versus one because I didn't really want to do a studio but I wanted it to still have that studio vibe so that's why I kind of have that opening up top and it's just completely open there's no like walls in the bedroom upstairs like you could be standing in the bedroom upstairs or be talking to someone downstairs that's how open it is but that's kind of the vibe that I was going for and then the outside is all sorts of you know blacks and whites and grays and then on the inside I kind of wanted to stick to like white but with a few pops of color but the bedroom was completely different as you can see um I did like this grayish color with some orange stripes I've done that before and I've seen it done a couple times just because it's a way to sort of decorate the walls without actually having to pay for the artwork in this game because I've come to realize a lot of the artwork and like accessories are actually kind of really expensive like when I come to the decorating part of this, I am back and forth between so many things because I'm like, okay, I got like $100 to spend. What can I get? Like, I got to be able to get something. And even the plants are like $50 a piece. I'm like, oh my God, this is absolutely ridiculous. And then the stairs kept disappearing on me, which is a pain in the butt. So I started like decorating this wall and then I'm like, wait a second, where are my stairs? So I don't know. I was just having all sorts of issues with this house. I think it turned out okay. I'm not super happy with the outside. I like the inside. I think the inside is kind of cute. <laughs> but if I could, I would definitely redo the outside. But I can't figure out what it is that I like I, or what I don't like about the outside. It just, it's very plain. Which I mean, I guess goes with the, the, uh, the theme since I wanted a, you know, a modern looking house it definitely goes with the theme of it but 
I don't know, it's just, it's a little too plain and I couldn't even do that much landscaping. And then after I had done this, I went and looked at some more people's builds of this and I was seeing people that had like so much landscaping going on. I'm like, oh my God, how did these people afford that landscaping? Like the bushes outside are so expensive. Like I said, they're like 50 to a hundred dollars a piece and some are a lot more than that. And I had like hardly any money left and I looked at this layout like a million and one times and there was no way I could shrink it any smaller because you can hardly get into the bedroom as it is by the time I put the bathroom downstairs. Like I cannot shrink it any other way for this particular layout. I mean, I definitely could build a smaller house, but I didn't really want to. I kind of liked it, you know, the way it was or whatever, but I don't know. This is just, this is really difficult. <laughs> I was struggling through most of it. Like I said, it took me way longer than I expected. I had planned for only maybe a half an hour to like 45 minutes to build this. And I spent an hour and 15 minutes doing it. So I was just like, holy crap. And I remember texting MCG afterwards and being like, oh my God, I just finished the 10K challenge and holy crap, was that hard? Like it was way harder than I expected it to be. I thought it was really fun though. So if any of you guys want to try it, please feel free to try it and let me know. I'd love to see it. I love seeing other people build. Everyone's got a different style to how they build, just like everyone's got a different style to how they play. I always think it's very interesting. So yes, please feel free to do it. Let me know. I've seen a lot of people do it at this point, but I think it's really cool. It's definitely, it makes you think and then it also makes you go through the catalog a lot because a lot of time when I'm building, I don't, I don't really go through the catalog too much just because I kind of know what I'm looking for and I'm like, yep, that's it. And I don't look for alternatives to it. Like right now I'm looking for rugs and I don't typically use a lot of the rugs. So I had to go through and, you know, look at all the different shapes and the different sizes and the different, you know, colorways. And it was really difficult to find a rug that would do what I wanted it to do, even though we have a lot of rugs in there. And I don't, like I said, I don't normally look through all the rugs. So I found some different rugs that, you know, I hadn't seen before, or I mean, I've seen, but I haven't really used. And I ended up not even using a rug, or I don't, I don't know if you can even consider it a rug. I don't think it's a rug. I end up using the street art uh, thing. Which it definitely, I don't think is a rug, but in my head, I'm like, okay, they're gonna have like a concrete floor and let's say someone painted this mural on the concrete. So that was a way to get like a cool design and bring me some color, bring me, bring in some color without putting a whole bunch of like artwork on the walls because this one piece would be cheaper than putting artwork everywhere. And this is where I realized I didn't have a bathroom. I was like, uh-oh where am I gonna squeeze this bathroom in? So I started trying to put it upstairs and it just made things all sorts of awkward. So I'm glad I didn't leave it upstairs because it just, oh God, it was not working out. So I do end up putting it downstairs and the mural does like go underneath, which I still thought was cool. Cause like I said, in my mind, I had pictured maybe like an artist at one point had lived here and they had like this concrete slab floor and they just, instead of buying a rug, they just, you know, went to town and painted on the floor and you know, that's the way it is. That's just what, <laughs> what they did. But yeah, I, I mean, I like that idea and I've never, I think I've used that thing on the floor maybe one other time, just because again, I wanted to bring in color without having this weird rug because I like a lot of the rug options we have, but I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of the rugs we have as well, which sounds, it's like, that's completely opposite what I just said. It's very contradictory. I do and don't like our rug options. There's a lot of things I wish that I could add to this game and rugs and couches and beds and end tables are definitely more. I just need, I need, I need more stuff packs. I need more packs that have more stuff for me to do things with more affordable options. And I was hoping with the city living one um, that we would get more cheaper options for things like that, but not really. I mean, we get a cheaper bed, which I ended up using in this one because it's um, quote unquote used. But they didn't do that for a lot of the things and I wish they had done that for more objects in the game instead of just maybe two or three things. I wish they had done that for more because then doing a build like this would be a whole lot easier than it was because you'd have all sorts of different options. And plus it, it also brings more like character to the house, I guess, when you have these kind of miscellaneous odds and ends pieces that are all sorts of, you know, some are used, some aren't, some are definitely beat up, but you can tell and others, you know, aren't. But I don't know. I thought it was, it, I just, I think, I think I need more stuff. I just need more stuff. I'm waiting for more stuff. I like stuff. And I'm also waiting for seasons and pets, but you know, that's, 
that's a different point entirely. Those are my two favorite stuff or er, expansion packs, not stuff packs. Those are full-on expansion packs. And I wish, I wish they would bring those out. Like those are what I'm looking forward to the most. I love the more realistic game packs, which is why I'm I'm not the biggest fan of like vampires and everything. Like everyone went crazy for vampires, and I'm just like, eh, you know, it's cool. I really love the build by mode stuff for the vampires, but I don't think I'm gonna use the gameplay all that often, but hey, I will definitely use all the build by objects, like, certainly. But yeah, at this point, I'm attempting to do the outside, and oh my god, this was absolutely the most frustrating thing to me because if you guys have seen any of my other builds, you know that I hate and I'm not very good at. I hate and I'm not very good at doing landscaping. Like, that is my biggest downfall is landscaping. And when I'm landscaping on a budget, it was even harder. So I was like going back and forth between so many different things, just trying to get more stuff outside because it just didn't, it just didn't look finished. It didn't look complete. Like it just looked empty and barren and I don't know, which I mean, I guess is okay because technically it is in the desert. So a lot of plants wouldn't be growing. But I don't know, I just, I wanted more and I couldn't get more because I couldn't afford more, but hey, I got the challenge done. I think it came in at like 90, 99 or $9,800. So, I mean, I definitely got in under budget and, you know, technically when you have a sim moving in for the first time, I think the lowest amount that you can have is like sixteen five or something like that. So still, you'd be able to buy this house and still be able to do stuff to it, but you wouldn't have to because the inside's completely done. I think it looks pretty cute, but you could buy more plants for the outside, I guess, if you wanted to, or you could expand the house. Like, this is one of those houses that with its shape, you could easily, easily expand off of because it's just like a rectangle. It's very, you know, very easily a rectangle. That's, that's about it, you know? So yeah, anyways, you can see me, you know, putting it on the gallery and whatnot. So it obviously is uploaded to the gallery. And then we're going to go into some screenshots. But anyways, I think I'm going to end this here, obviously, because we're coming to the end. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!